Hi, this is Amelia Glenn from SF Gates Tales of the City, and I wanted to explore a topic that's come up a couple times on my blog, and that is city dogs versus country dogs, and is one group healthier or happier than the other? So to learn more, I thought I'd talk to two experts. One is Dr. Robin, who is president of the Anti-Cruelty Society in Chicago, and she's also a licensed veterinarian. And I'm also going to be speaking with a woman named Bernie Berlin who runs a dog rescue group called A Place to Bark in a really rural town called Portland, Tennessee. So one question a lot of people have is, are there particular dangers or health concerns that city dogs might have over country dogs or vice versa? So I thought maybe Dr. Robin could comment on that. Outdoor dogs tend to uh, be more susceptible to heartworm because they're exposed to mosquitoes more. Certainly geographical range, Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, tick fevers, things like that really are based, even when you're outside more, you get exposed to those kind of dangers. City dogs get more exposed to things like salt on the sidewalks, um, ice on the sidewalks. So there are a few differences, but I think it's more geography that you have to worry about rather than um, total environment. So my dog, Lorna Dune, is about eight years old, and she's lived in the city her whole life. I've never had a yard devoted to her, but a lot of people feel that in order to have a happy dog in the city, you absolutely need a yard. I don't necessarily agree because I feel like it's more about getting her out to the parks and taking her out on hikes, but I'm wondering how Dr. Robin feels um, about that and whether or not you think that a yard is necessary for a dog to be happy. No, exercise is needed for a dog, whether it's a fenced-in yard and you're out romping with the dog in the yard, or whether you're, the dog's on a leash and you're on a jogging path. It's the exercise, it's not necessarily the yard space. So for the past year I've been writing a series called um, Breed of the Week, so I've learned a lot about many different breeds and I know that some probably would do better in a city environment um, and some probably do better in a rural environment. So I'm wondering if both Bernie and Dr. Robin could comment on that and maybe give some suggestions or examples of breeds that um, might do better in either situation. The dogs that are going to acclimate easiest moving from a country environment to a city environment are going to be small breed dogs that you always have with you. Um, in my opinion, small breed dogs should not be outside dogs. And that was one thing that I learned moving to the south, was there is a distinct divide between indoor dogs and outdoor dogs. And usually your small breed dogs are indoor dogs. The dogs that will have the most difficulty transitioning from a country situation to a city situation are probably going to be, in my experience, the hound dogs. Your beagles, your bassets, um, your coon hounds, fox hounds, the hound breeds. I think certainly in the city it really depends on the living space. If you're in a small apartment, a smaller dog probably is a better choice rather than a Great Dane or an Irish Wolfhound. Um, but again, it's personal preference. If you don't mind sharing your 400 square foot loft with an Irish Wolfhound, go for it. But again, exercise is really important and you have to take that into account. Smaller dogs are going to need less exercise. So as I mentioned, Lorna Dune has been a city dog her whole life, but I also know people who've moved to San Francisco from more rural areas with dogs, and I'm wondering if both Dr. Robin and Bernie could comment on ways to transition dogs from a more rural environment to a city and how to make that transition easier for them. Leash breaking is the absolute way to go. There's no way that you can't get by without it. Um, and you will find that more dogs that live in the country are not going to be leash broken. And that is just for the simple fact, and I know from seeing around here, that people open up their doors, they let their dogs out in the mornings, and then the dogs come back at dusk. Um, so. Leash breaking a dog does take time, it's not impossible, and if you're patient, in just a few days, you can have your, your dog leash broken. Dogs have to get used to the noise in the city, um, both the traffic, the sirens, the congestion, uh, and you certainly have to have a well-behaved dog. It, for, if the dog's not used to being around a lot of people, taking it on a leash the first day in a crowded city is probably not a wise idea. You need to get that dog adjusted 
and acclimated to all the people and noises of the city.